I should man Joe. So, um, I wanted to get into this topic because I don't know, I feel some type of way about it and stuff like that. And the reason why we want this, to discuss this is should a husband that a man that's working, you know, that has a job, you know, outside of the home, should he work? at home or should, should should he I mean he's married should a man who's married should help the wife clean the home and for me in my case I mean I want to know how do you guys feel about it but for me in my case I probably less than likely <laughs> because sometimes my job um Sometimes it works. I have to work late. You know, something comes up at the last minute. Sometimes my job does that. Um, but as you know, my fiance told me that you know you're gonna have. She said she said in a lot. I don't know. It's been a couple of days since I remember that conversation. But she said in lines that you know when we get married and stuff like that. You know, all, all the romantic shebang. And she brought up saying like, well, you're gonna have to help me clean up the house. And and I kind of and I told her in a way that I, in a way that where I disagree with her because I'm gonna have to be working, you know. So, like I said, like you know, sometimes my job takes up, you know. Sometimes I have to work late, and you know, we got in a little bit, just a little bit, a little bit of a, a, a disagreement about that. And after that conversation, I've been thinking about it, and the reason why. I wanted to bring this up is because you know since I am a working man and since I don't sometimes I don't ha I don't have the uh, sometimes I don't have a chance to you know come home and clean the house for me I know some might be saying Joe you're just saying that because you're lazy in some aspect that is true <laughs> but in some cases that I just don't have the time sometimes I be tired um, Sometimes I'd be tired, we want to pass out, and sometimes I don't even want to clean the floor and just leave the stuff on the floor. <laughs> like that, you know. So that's why I need a helpmate to help me clean this house, you know, and stuff like that. And as me and the fiance got in, also into the conversation, she brought up, well, what if she was sick? And I was thinking to myself, well, are you going to take care of me and stuff like that? I was like, yeah, because you're my wife. Who else is going to cook my dinner? Who else is gonna wash my clothes? I need help. I know that in the marriages, there's there is a romantic aspect and stuff like that. You know how much I love you, how much I love you. But in but in I'm just thinking like how in a working as a working man, I need help. I need somebody to you know watch the house, not just the children. I mean, not just the children. I mean, you know, the children. You know, watch the house, the kids, the furniture. Just I mean, not not just not alone. I'm not saying, you know. But for me to say this, I mean, having that conversation had me thinking like, if I have, if I was married to a woman, you know, like that, and if I have to, if I'm married to a point where I have to, you know, like get a job, work all day, and come home and cook and clean, and, you know, I'm married to her, then what's the point of marrying her to begin with? You know? I mean, that's, 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 that's how I was thinking. Because... To me, it's like, there's no point of me marrying you if you're not going to be doing the wifely duties. I mean, you know, and as in the conversation, she'll still bring up the whole, you know, oh, what if I'm sick? Well, you're right now, you're still able-bodied, you know. You're not sick. You're not crippled. You, you know, you might go through some things, but you're not, but you're smart enough to, you know, you know, cook and clean, keep the house, make sure it's nice and tidy when, when I get home from a long, hard day at work. Because yo man, sometimes, sometimes as a working man, sometimes your, sometimes the husband or whoever, sometimes they don't come home until like late, like nine, ten o'clock, eleven o'clock, due to you know traffic accidents and stuff like that. I mean tra traffic accidents and or maybe this guy, maybe he saw something like that, just make him want to stay there for a little while. <laughs> but all in all, now you're probably gonna be saying, well, Joe, would you ever help your wife clean up the house? Well, to be quite honest, 
I'm probably, like I said, I'm probably gonna be less likely to do it due to the scheduling of my work and stuff like that. And you know, got the house gotta be cleaned by the Sabbath because we don't wanna do anything. We don't, it turns out we don't have to do no cleaning, no cooking, all that. I guess we're gonna have like leftovers <laughs> and stuff like that. Um, yeah, so I'm probably, so, so your answer is, is that I'm probably gonna be less likely and and I think it does depend and I believe that Lord, the Lord was speaking when about the message about you know housewives and stuff like that you know he said that you guys live in these big beautiful houses and I do think that is it all depends you know all depends on the how what kind of house that you have if you have like a two three story houses and stuff like that would I still help no but <laughs> if if my wife would have came to me constantly complaining um about me you know about the house she doesn't like i don't help her around the house and i'll just probably move move the family to a smaller house even if we have like five six seven or more kids after that if she constantly still complaining i mean i haven't i mean even though i could have been like no hush get the cooking get the cleaning you know <laughs> just do that or I, I will often say, like, if you do something like this, I, I want to move the whole family to Australia so you can deal with those creatures and those animals. <laughs> I would tell her that if you, because I don't know, maybe it's just like, maybe we're just like here in America, we, we're too spoiled. We're too spoiled. We have everything that's very easy, like washing machine, dryers, stoves. Women in this generation have it way too easy, way too easy as far as for cooking and cleaning vacuuming all that stuff we got we we are so spoiled here in america we are so spoiled yes we are uh anything else i wanted to add uh no i think i'm i think i pretty much said what i wanted to say so yeah so to my to my wonderful lady that's possibly gonna be in my life um if you ever tried to say that i don't help around the house just remember that I'm gonna move the whole family to Australia so you can deal with all the creatures and know how humble and spoiled you are, how, how much you have it, and stuff like that. So, without further ado, it's your man, Joe. Tell me what you guys think about this. You think I'm wrong, Joe, you're wrong. I can't believe you actually said that, and stuff like that. So, all in all, it's your man, Joe. See you guys in another video, so, okay? All right.